my name is Mary and I work here at the First Colony Branch Library and today I want to show you how to make some hammered flower prints. This is a fun and easy craft and it's something that you can make using everyday household items. All you need is a piece of fabric, um, a light colored piece, some flowers from your garden, and some masking tape and a hammer. So this is an example of one that I made using pansies. Um, I made this probably six, seven months ago um, back in the winter when I had pansies in my garden. Um, today I'm going to be using uh, zinnias and such, some other flowers that I have. So let me take you back to my desk and I'll show you how to make this fun little print. Okay, so we're back here at my desk and I've got my light piece of fabric. Um, I've got my flowers that I picked from the garden this morning. And I'm just going to go with maybe some of these vincos. I have a pink one and then a darker pink one. And then what you'll do is, it's going to look like this, but you'll take your masking tape and you're going to tape down the petals. So, like that. And the stem will stick up. All right. That one's done. Let me do the other one. Um, when you're selecting your flowers, I would choose flowers that have darker petals. So like your darker pinks, your purples. Um, I've got a yellow zinnia here. Um, and the reason being, if you look on this one that I made with pansies, um, the spot here and here, these were the, your um, pansies with white petals. And they just look like unfortunate stains rather than something that you intentionally did. So I would stick with your darker colored petals like these. All right, and once you have them taped down, I'm gonna put something underneath here. So just a, a legal pad. And then here's my hammer. And you're just gonna hammer the petals. And you, you'll see, as you start hammering, the color is gonna start to transfer to the fabric. So you're just gonna keep going. So you're just going to keep checking the opposite side to see how much has gone through. And some flowers will, will work better than others. You can see this light colored vinca, maybe not the best pick, but the darker mandevilla looks pretty good. And then this was the darker vinca, not bad. Um, and then when you're ready, just go ahead and peel off the tape. And you'll reveal your flower print. Okay, so here's what we've got. Again, that lighter vinca, maybe not the best choice, but the other ones look pretty good. And this is something that you can go back and you can add kind of detailing with embroidery, or when you place your flowers, you can place them in a better composition to where it's something that you can frame. So maybe something like that. Anyway, it's a fun little craft to do and most people have the items just kind of lying around the house. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.